Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Start. All programs. Blender Foundation. Blender. Blender. Today we're going to show you how to colour your objects and add material. So if we just rotate our cube and we'll come down to the shading button uh, or you can press F5. Now this is a preview of what your object will look like if it was a sphere. Or you can change your shape to, for example, a cube, a plane, a monkey's head, some grass or another sphere. Now we're just going to go back to cube because that's what we actually are looking at. So to add just a basic colour to it, for example red, we can go down to the colour here and drag right to the top corner and select red. Or we could have done it with the sliders here to make it red. Now, as you can see in our preview box, our cube is now red and also on our screen our cube is red. That is not actually what it will look like when it gets rendered because it hasn't taken into account the light you can also set something um, so when a light reflects off of it, it will appear a different colour. For example, blue to red, so we'll get a nice purpley sort of a sheen to our object. And we can select that by pressing enter. If you look down in the preview box now, you'll see that it hasn't actually taken effect. That's because our hardness of the object is too much for us to notice it. So we'll go and alter that now. If we go over here and go to shaders and we can just take down our hardness to for example 1 and you can see it's quite vivid now the blue has mixed with the red in the light now if we just put that back to how it was for the next part of the tutorial okay let's also put our reflection color of the material back to white and then we'll press enter to select that. Now, if we go over to mirror transparency, we can click ray mirror and then up the ray mirror. And you can see now in your preview tab, that's giving your cube a glass like effect. You can also do it with a sphere, which I, I think looks better. Now, if we put those settings back to how they were and ray mirror. We can also add a texture to our object. So if we click up here, the texture button and texture type, and we'll select image. And in the image pane, we can select load and we'll navigate to the image or texture that we want to use through the file navigator. And we're going to select wood and you click the select button to select it. Now, if we go back to our materials button, we can see in our preview or the cube, what it will look like. Um, we'll just take that off again now for the next part. So we'll click the crosscut button here and we will change this to none and go back to the materials button over here. Now we're going to learn how to colour a single side of a cube or a single face of an object. So we're going to go to edit mode here and edit mode in the 3D workspace as well. Now if you select single face of your cube by shift right click um, until you've got a face selected like that. Now if we click new material down here and we can change the colour so for example if we want it blue we can change it to blue and select that by pressing enter and now if we assign it we'll get a single blue face on the cube as you can see. Um, we can also change colour of a different size by shift right click. Uh, select new material, change the colour, let's have it green and by pressing enter and click assign. So now you can see we've got three different colours on our cube. If we just go to object mode and grab hold of our light and move it around here and if we do a quick render by pressing F12 
we should be able to see three different colours on our cube. That's about it for this tutorial. I hope it's helped with your colouring and texturing needs. Check back soon and I'll have some more for you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.